All right, guys, listen, I got a lot of flack for not cutting with these instincts in my last video. Guys, I've been out of the shop for two weeks. I'm back in it today, and we're gonna test these things out. So without further ado, let's see what they're talking about. All right, guys, we got my man Zerner in the chair to test out these instincts. Let's start off with the number three. We're gonna go ahead and clear the bulk because that is something that these are supposed to be good at with that vector motor. So I'm gonna start with the number three. We're just gonna come straight up and through into the top. Go ahead and connect in. Cut the size down to a three, and then we will come in and do, he's gonna get a ball fade. Not too high, but not too low. Kind of following the head shape. I'll probably come back and clip over comb this area when we get done, but we're just gonna cut the side down to a three. And we can come in and do our ball fade. All right, now we're coming to set our ball line, guys. I did a video yesterday with these, said it did not have the one blade, but it absolutely does have the one blade. And you guys can see these things are slapping, so super sharp. Honestly, they cut, really I haven't used them a ton, but they cut pretty much just as good as the sabers that I've been using. So I actually recorded that whole video yesterday. And at the end, I basically said, if it had the one blade, I could mess with it, but it doesn't. So I'm gonna keep the sabers. And then I did some research and found out it does have the one blade. These really cut just as good, guys. Obviously, it looks a little different than the saber because that has a gold blade on it along with the one blade. This is black. So I guess I just got kind of confused. And I never read anywhere that it said it had the one blade, but it absolutely does, guys. You can see this is super bald and it will really just punch those lines in super crisp. I don't know what I was saying, guys. My, my wife and son came by, but these balled out super well, super short. The shaver will have no issue going over it. These lines are super sharp. You guys know when I do these tutorials, or not tutorials, reviews, I like to only use the tools I'm talking about. So normally I would not punch in a guideline with something so sharp, but I really want you guys to see just these tools in action. So you guys, I don't know how well you can see that, but it is super bald. That line is probably super, super short. So we may have some trouble taking the bald line out because we use such a sharp trimmer. We'll just have to use the trimmer to take it out. If, it's, if that is the case. We'll try the closed clipper, and if it won't take it out, we'll come back with the trimmer and, and take care of it. All right, guys, so obviously first step, lever all the way open. Like I said, guys, I did cut with this yesterday, which is good for you guys, because you're gonna get two days worth of feedback, basically, but uh, a little bit different of a shape in the hand, so it, it's so small. You guys can imagine using a clipper like the FX. It's got so much weight down here that you get kind of a good balance when you're kind of doing your, like, flick out motion. And this is so short that there's no weight at the bottom, so if you guys see, like, I got my hand stretched out to kind of cover the whole body of it. It's just, it just feels different. It's not a problem. And like I said, it does have the paper blade and the stretch brackets. So as far as cutting, it cuts exactly like my Boosted or my Rebel that I always used. Um, so cutting wise, no problem. The body itself is a little bit weird. And the vector motor, definitely strong. I don't know if I've noticed a difference yet. I haven't really hit any bulk or anything that I need it for, but uh, it's definitely as powerful as you know what I use on the regular. So now clipper closed. Like I said, guys, this may not take the bald line all the way out. If I need to come in with a trimmer, I can. You can see a little bit here that maybe we need to touch up. So I'll come back with a trimmer and hit that if I need. There's a the first notch. I did take the notches out guys so it's a free floating lever so we'll just go to like the second notch ish i just like to have the kind of the freedom to put it where i want so that's why i take the notches out second notch just go up a little bit more basically third third or fourth notch go up the rest of the way take the rest of these dark spots out and then we'll work uh We'll work through the lever and take out any spots that are left. So you just gotta double check. I'm gonna go open, go to the top. We're gonna polish this up. Then I'm gonna close it up a little bit, go on underneath that, clean that up, close it halfway, go through these spots. There's still a few dark spots right here. So close it up halfway, take that out. Second notch, just keep working our way back down. A little bit of a spot in the middle I just can't get. So go back to about halfway open, take that out, close it a little bit. So there's our open section. I might come back and hit that bald line a little bit just to make sure that it's blended well. But uh, like I said, guys, no, no issue there. It's my normal, normal steps, normal blade and setup that I usually use. You guys prefer it without, you know, you can rock it with just the fusion blade without the stretch bracket. I know a lot of people comment like, man, use it how it comes out of the box. But honestly, guys, all those things come in the box. So these are all options. If you want to put the stretch bracket, if you want to take the clicks out, this is why it comes that way. So uh, this is how I like to use it. If you guys want to use it a different way, you can. Now we're doing the open one. Guys, going to set our open guideline about three quarters of an inch up. He wanted to go short today, so he doesn't have a lot on top. We got a little bit more room to work. 
We'll set our open one guide line. And I like to go ahead and connect everything above that. So we'll go straight to the two. I'm gonna go ahead and just close it up and connect into the three that we started with. I'm just coming in straight off the head. Again, guys, no issue with cutting through all this hair with this vector motor. I mean, the, the Super Torque Rebel and Boosted were already good enough, to be honest to cut through really any amount of hair that I was trying to cut through. But this thing's definitely powerful. It's definitely having no issue. Like I said, the shape is kind of the only thing that makes me feel a little bit different. Everything else is pretty much exactly how I normally use it. So now one and a half, half open. Going through that last line right here where the open one was. We're gonna have to use our open one again. Clean that up. You guys can see it's it's working out. I'm trying not to get in the camera over here, so I can't really see what I'm doing as well as up here. So we'll, we'll finish that up after this. Just kind of focusing on this panel in front of the ear. We'll finish with the open one. We'll go back to the one and we'll just continue to work our way down until we're finished with the fade on this side. Now the open one, we're gonna go right back into the one and a half that we just did to make sure that it's all tied together. I'm sweating, guys. I'm about to have to lose the, lose the hoodie after I finish this side. Now we'll close up the one and go halfway into that section. I might go, sometimes I go a little bit. I might go halfway first just to be safe so I don't, you know, gouge where we just did all the work at. Do halfway open, soften it up, close it, come underneath that. And guys, we know that we're gonna need the half guard to take the line all the way out. So I'm not looking for it to go all the way away. Just wanted to blend into what's above and then we'll get the half guard out, blend it the rest of the way together. All right, now we're in with the half guard, halfway open, guys. That's the sweet spot between the closed one and the open, uh, open no guard. So just coming in with the half, half open looking through that line. You guys feel free. If you see a spot a little bit higher and you want to open it up, you can. If you got a spot down low, you want to close it up, you can. But same steps I always do, guys. And that's why I really test out these clippers with my same steps every time to make sure that they'll fit within my system. You guys have heard me talk about when I use something maybe with like a fade blade, it doesn't cut the same. You know, that stuff kind of throws me off sometimes. I'm just gonna detail. I'm back with the two. I just see a couple spots up here. He has that hair that really grows out. So like I can see straight through it right here. I don't know what you guys are seeing on camera. I can see straight through it right here that makes it look a little bit less blended. But so I'm just kind of sticking to my steps, going through, double checking. That's all we're really doing here is cross checking and making sure that we have it where we want. But yeah, guys, you see these things cut, no problem. I'll try to do one more head today. I don't know what all. If I have anything different to cut for you guys to show you, but uh, I might take them around the shop and let some people try them on some different textures and different different things so that you guys can see them on some different haircuts. So that's it for this one.
right guys, here are my final thoughts on the Instinct. We will go ahead and start with the Clipper. So obviously guys, it is super small, definitely a little bit different to get used to at the beginning. Kind of when I'm doing my flicking motion, I, there's not a lot of body back here for me to, I don't know, it just felt different than, you know, let's say the Babyliss Clipper, which is almost twice the size, which I use a lot. So definitely a little bit different in the hand. Obviously guys, we could have expected that. It feels more like a trimmer shape. Other than being small though, not very awkward, not anything different about it that I really didn't mind. Obviously guys, we have the Fusion Blade or the Vapor Blade. I always forget that's what it's called now. I put the stretch bracket on it and we have the floating lever. So it's basically set up exactly like my boosted. So cutting wise, not a problem. Only felt a little bit different in the hand. And I don't know if you guys caught it in the video, but it does have the vector motor. And I wasn't really sure what all the vector motor was about, but basically guys, when it senses that it's catching bulk and that it's slowing down, it will up the RPM. So I'm gonna turn it on and let you guys hear that. I'm just gonna touch it with my finger and you guys will be able to hear it. So here's running normal. You can hear it kick up when I put my thumb on it. And the trimmer is also the same way. So here's the trimmer guys, I made a mistake. So I actually recorded this video yesterday. I said that this did not have the one blade on it. So I was going into cutting with it and I'm thinking, yeah, the only thing I would like better is if this had the one blade on it. And then I realized that it's really hitting. It's, it's cutting really well. So I did some research, guys. I looked back. I didn't remember reading that on the box. Maybe I just skipped over that part. But I went back on the website and looked it up, guys, and it does have the one cutter blade, and then we have the X-Pro black blade. So this does have the one blade like the Saber. At first, I was thinking there's no way I'm putting the Saber down with the one blade if this doesn't have it. But guys, this does have it. Pretty similar, not really shape, but size to the Saber. It is a little bit wider up here at the top. Obviously, guys, it is blacked out. Definitely a solid trimmer. The one blade is solid. You guys see that it will hit. It's pretty dang sharp. I'm still not 100% sure if I'm gonna put the saber down and put this on the station for a little bit, but we'll probably keep them out for another week or so and kind of see how they hold up, how much I'm liking them before I decide what I'm gonna keep out. So I don't know if I've mentioned that to you guys, but obviously I get a lot of clippers and I get anxiety when I turn around and I have too many and I don't really know which one to pick up. So I like to just know my go-to is there, grab it and cut. So we'll give these guys another week or so to test them out, see if they're gonna kind of hold it down on the station for a little while. But anyway guys, that is my review on the Instincts. If you guys didn't see the unboxing and you want more information, definitely go check out that video. You guys want to pre-order them. They are going fast. I've seen online a lot of people promoting and they are going super fast. So the first pre-orders are going to ship the end of January. So head to stockraftus.com. You guys can go ahead and pre-order these. These are $229, I believe, and these are $209. And I think there's some type of bundle right now where if you order any of these, you get a free Rebel Shaver. On top of that, guys, you can save 10%. Obviously, use my code Shanka's hair to save 10% on your whole order on these or on anything else on the Stockcraft website. All right, guys, that is it for the video. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I've been recording heavy since I got back from Tampa. I got another unboxing coming, a couple dope tutorials coming. If you guys did like this, smash that thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys next time.